Hey guys, Jeff Ryan here. Uh, I am still having a ball with these things. Uh, I'm getting some of the, the like the dogs in the back one and stuff. I'm cutting them down, making them work. Uh, but this just came in. This just came in. <clears throat> Pardon me. It was um, 35, if I'm not mistaken. It was 35. And the reason um, it's going for so cheap is it looks like crap. It's got the decal on it. I think I can get the decal off, make it look a lot better. Uh, let's test it. Make sure the uh, tra yep, transformers are on. Let's test it. See if we got anything with it. It does. It turns over a little bit. It turns over a little bit. So we have a chassis that we know works, plus a slot car. That the only thing, uh, if I get, keep dropping, I'll have scratches. The only thing wrong with it is the uh, decals. The only thing wrong with it. I mean, that's it. Well, I tell you what. Now I'm looking at the bumpers a little bit. Uh, slight chrome wear, but nothing bad. Wheel wells not cut. Haven't got into it yet. Uh, on the underneath side, to see if anything's going on, like cracks, screw posts, or anything. I don't know. So, anyways, um, I'm gonna have a ball restored in that. I mean, it looks like crap, and it's gonna sell like crap. I'm just wondering how it's gonna sell, or I might keep it after I get done fixing it up. And hey, listen, very quickly, I am very excited to say that one of my viewers guessed exactly how many slot cars I've got in my collection uh, at the time of that shooting of that video, and he wanted the blue camper there by the print pro guys i'm going to pack that up and send it off to him i'm very excited he won that he's going to have a ball with that one and just real quick in between uh takes there i glued in the the back window there of uh the dog can you see it in there i hope there's enough light there but it's just a dog face like if you were uh trailing this thing or something that's all dog face i thought that'd be good i'm thinking considering um how small this darn thing is um, probably curtains through most of it. I'm not sure what else, like in the middle win windows there, whatever, but um, I'm gonna make it work. Um, again, in between takes, I'm gonna get to that. And the first thing I gotta do here, I gotta get the uh, body off the chassis. I know it turned over a little bit, but just for fun, let's see if we get anything on the track here whatsoever. Oh yeah. Yeah, that sounds wonderful, doesn't it? I mean, that, that thing probably had any oil on it for what? Decades? <laughs> you know what? The way it sounds, I'm glad it's going around the track. I really am. I, I think that's cool. I think we need to do a uh, tune up on the uh, uh, chassis and everything like that. But oh, <laughs> there we go. So uh, it does work. I bet you we can get it to work and look a lot better. And uh, one thing that uh, just came in, I believe, I believe it is a um, AC Cobra that's only missing a bumper. And I'll check the price, but I think I got it for uh, 25 bucks. What, what's interesting about this package is it's wrapped in paper, but it is like one of the flimsiest, I don't know, packages I've ever seen. I, I, I said the story um, a few times, and it just cracked me up when it came through the mail. Years ago, I, I get a slot car off of eBay. The gentleman sent it to me in an Eggo box. It, was, it just cracked me up. I think there was more tape on the box than there was box. But that was the funniest package I got. But uh, that's uh, less than sturdy. Already, I think this is going to be a fun project. It's a box of butter. You know, that's, that's what he had. The slot car is still inside. It looks like uh, holiday paper. So he uh, reversed the holiday paper and uh, sent it in a box of butter. Uh, guys, the way I send my stuff, nice sturdy box. Nice sturdy box. You know what I mean? That's, um, that, that's the way to do it as far as I'm concerned. But if that's all you have and the car is in there and it's uh, in good shape, I'm okay with it. Just got the Cobra out of the packaging and it's in a great shape. Just missing the back bumper. Uh, probably gonna do a little VRP with it, put on a uh, chassis. If this is in better condition than the red one I have, I'll swap them out. But if it isn't, um, it'll go uh, back on eBay with the bumper and I bet you get a lot more. I think I got it, and I'll, again, I'll check the price. I might be wrong. I think it's around 25 if I'm not mistaken. All right, just for fun, real quick, I've been working on the um, camper here. i got the cute little dog in the back there, and I've got just curtains on this side, just curtains. And the other side, I've got, uh, just for fun, i got a sunset and more curtains in the back there. The only thing i got to do uh, now is put it back on the trailer, uh, the, 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 I guess the chassis of it. But this was fun. This is totally fun. One, painting it up, very, very easy. When you use the metal towel, uh, uh, chrome pens there. It just sets on the raised up ridges that they got. Very, very easy to paint this thing. And if you guys want to put glass in there, curtains, whatever, it's up to you. Um, but um, very, very easy, very fun project. 
So let me go ahead and put that back together real quick. Then we're going to go ahead and jump on the uh, Jag and the AC Cobra. Just got the chassis back on the cam uh, camper there. And now I've got the transformer on. Let's go ahead and see what it looks like in action, guys. I like that. It, it, it's it, got to grab the right uh, controller there. I like something on the windows. Even from the distance, you can see that there's something on there. You know what I mean? I know there's just curtains right there. It's hard to see the dog in the back. Yeah, I get it, but nevertheless, it's still there. So fantastic. I like it. I like it a lot. That looks really good. So guys, if you're gonna get a uh, camper or a trailer from the Print Pro guys, I'm giving it a thumbs up. They're both a blast. They're really fun. They're really, really, really fun. And it's easy to put together. It's uh, easy to paint. And then if you, again, you wanna do one or something or a diorama on the inside, go for it. Go for it. It's super simple. Time to get these buggers looking a little bit better, isn't it? Yes. Boy, let's see what we get. I can't wait to, boy, that's a little tight. That's a little tight. Not bad, not bad, good, loosen up. Uh, see, that's one thing. Um, I've mentioned before, if you ever get a little bit of water or anything in that uh, screw post there and the screw starts to rust, you, you could break a screw post because there's so much rust in there. That felt really tight. This isn't bad. Back one's not bad, very good. Okay, well, we know the chassis runs. We know the chassis runs, that's good. And again, overall, there's no cuts. I'm looking at the, oops, looking, I keep dropping this damn thing. I keep looking at the screw post here. Let me get the back one out, that back screw out here. And nothing's broken, guys. Just a little bit of chrome wear on the bumpers and we gotta get that off. And boy, this is, look how dull that looks. You know what? Even the, just look, look at the carpet there. It looks like it, it's, ne this has probably never been cleaned, never been washed. It just looks dull all the way around. It really does. Any screw post issues? No, it looks good. Here's what's interesting. Uh, you see the flash right there on the back? I'm thinking I'm gonna have to get that off in order to get the uh, new bumper on back there. That shouldn't be too hard because it, it I don't wanna, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. We'll, we'll definitely see. Other than that, other than a good bath, good wash, and of course it's gonna need a chassis, uh, I think we're gonna be in good shape with uh, both these here. All right, here's, let, let's do this. I'm gonna take this stuff to the sink, see if we can get them looking any better. All right, fantastic. I'm here at the sink and I, I can't wait to get these washed up. The toothbrush I use, I've said this a number of times, but it's like a baby's toothbrush. It is very, very soft. And guys, pay heed to this. Use a screen catcher, you know, type of thing in your sink. What if his head comes off? You know, you don't want anything going down the drain. So just please, please do that when you start washing stuff up like this. All right, let me get the uh, water warm, see if we can get these decals off, and um, both of them looking a little bit better. Boy, much better. I just got the Cobra out of the uh, 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 rinse there. So much better. I know I still got it dry a little bit, but man, look at the carpet and everything. That came out, that, that, that's like 100 times better. Man, that's great. Okay, I just started in on the Jag there, and I've got the, uh, the, the back part of the decal off. If it's a water decal and you get it wet, it's gonna come off. I've been using a little bit of my thumbnail and a lot of the uh, toothbrush there. So just keep after it, keep it under the warm water and it's gonna come off guys. Just got done rinsing it off there. It's still a little bit more to dry there. And I'm gonna wick out both the uh, screw posts. But look at that, isn't that a big difference? You know what, getting that damn ugly decal off there. Okay, good, good. And look at the headlights. Headlights are absolutely wonderful. I don't, there, there's not even a scratch on them. This is gonna come out beautiful. Kind of shirt dried them, and again, I can't stress enough, when you uh, get done, please wick out the screw posts. You don't want any residual water in there. Just look at it now, a bit of a shine, a little bit less dirty, but still looks kind of dull. There's more of a, uh, more of a brilliant shine on this one. This, this, this looks great. So uh, very quickly, I think I'm gonna get out the uh, VRP and get these things lustered up. Okay, I got the VRP out, the vinyl rubber plastic made by the chemical guys. There is a caution. Uh, a lot of the um, T-Jets, AC Carbo, let's just look at that. They don't have much accents on them. I've heard from a couple of my viewers that if you have put the VRP on um, a, a slot car body that has like a lot of paint, it can affect the paint. So use caution. Even the Jag, there's, I guess the headlights or whatever. 
but I've used um, Easy Off on some of the old Thunderjet bodies, and the Easy Off doesn't take off the original accent sometimes. So um, I can understand if you got an AFX or something or a Tom, Tommy or something like that, and you put this stuff on paint, it might affect the paint. Again, we're supposed to use it on vinyl, rubber, and plastic. Nowhere in the name does it say paint. So uh, maybe I've been getting lucky and uh, just using it on the T-Jets and they come out real good, but I don't have uh, slot cars that have paint on them. I really don't. Some factory accents, yes, but none of them are really painted up. So let me go in, uh, I'm gonna shake it up one more time. And what I do is I just splooge a little bit on there and then I wipe it in with like a little bit of a paper towel and let it set there for a bit. And when it comes off, the luster, the shine, is, it, it's always been incredible. Just threw away the towel that I used uh, the VRP with for the um, Jag and the Cobra. And it just occurred to me, I've got a camper, green camper, I love the green. And I've got a gray trailer still from the Prim Pro guys. I gotta figure out a way or a game to give those buggers away. They're both fun. They're both a fun project. But I gotta figure out a way to give those away. If you guys have any suggestions, please let me know in the comments below. I always like having fun. So anyways, I got the VRP on there. It's gonna set there for a little bit. I'm gonna grab another towel and wipe it off in just a few minutes. Just got done to uh, wiping the VRP off. It's been on there for a few minutes and look at the hood, look, look, look at the roof. Oh my God, that is reflective guys. Look at the side there, unbelievable. This is showroom shape, absolutely showroom shape. <laughs> look at that, night and day difference, huh? Look at that, look at the other side, wow. Now it's reflected. Before it was just so dull, you know? Look at the windshield. Incredible, huh? Absolutely wonderful. I got two showroom pieces right there and we're not even done yet. Well, that's really something else. Okay, let me set these aside here for a sec. Um, I've got to get uh, some parts here. I need a, um, another chassis, got to get that. Uh, guide pins, screws, things like that. Got to get the back bumper for the AC Cobra. So let me go ahead and scrounge up some parts. Grab the chassis, some uh, spare parts. I knew I was gonna need some shorter axles. Got the bumper. I knew I was gonna need some uh, hubs and tires for this one. I gotta change them out here. So I, I, I grabbed the things that I thought I was going to uh, uh, need there. I'm going to get these off real quick. There we go. Get the other side out. There we go, got that one. Okay, I really don't have to do anything to this chassis, maybe a little bit of oil or anything, but it's it's clean, it's ready to go, runs good. So I'm just gonna go ahead and swap the axles, hubs and tires out real quick. Got the axles on, hubs and tires. This one's ready to go again. A little bit of oil, that's all I did. And that, uh, oh God, I just thought about it. I, I, I did a long wheelbase. Yes, good, it's a long wheelbase. It, just, it struck me for a second there. Okay, um, we gotta get, the bumper on there and then get this thing together, then we can get this thing cleaned up and get it running running better. Like I thought, I, I just, just for fun, I was trying to dry fit it. There's no way that that's gonna go on there. there there's absolutely no way. I gotta get a, uh, those cleaned up a little bit. The, the top one more so than the bottom one, but I don't know, we'll see. Let me work on that. I'm gonna get my X-Acto knife out and try to trim all that flashing away. Wow. A whole, a whole bunch better. Oh, yeah, I just kept scraping up on it and around it. Where's the bumper here? And uh, it, it came off fairly easy. Now, if, if this doesn't fit well enough, I can always bore the holes out on the bumper, but let's just check it. Let's just try to dry fit it and see if we can get it in there. I know I got my fingers in the way of what I'm doing here. It's hard to see though. Okay, yeah, I can feel it start to grab. We're not too far off. That's, that's kind of in there, probably not as flush as I'd like. I might have to ream the holes out just a little bit, just a little bit, but at least it's, it's getting set down where it needs to be. That's good. Just took my uh, drill board out the holes a little bit, pressed it in there. Boy, it feels good. Yes, I'm going to glue it in place, but I think I nailed it. It's, it's, uh, it's up in there as far as uh, it can go there. Now the front, a little bit of the Molotow on the front there, that's going to look, uh, man, that's going to look brand new. Just glued the bumper in, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the uh, Molotow, the chrome, uh, the, the chrome paint that I have. It's the same paint that I used on the outside of the uh, trailer there as far as the windows and everything. I love this stuff. 
It doesn't look similar to Chrome. It looks just like Chrome. So uh, as soon as this dries, we're gonna give it a few minutes. Again, I'm gonna hit the uh, front bumper with the Molotow here. Very good, I've been shaking the Molotow quite a bit and it's the uh, four millimeter one that I have uh, ready to go here. And it's just a matter of getting it right where you need it, guys, and it hides that black like you wouldn't believe. Look at that, look at that. Isn't that, isn't that night and day difference right there? I tell you what, just that little bit and you're done. Wow, that looks really good, looks really good. I know the back bumper is dry. I just I tried to wiggle it a second ago. It, uh, I think it's, um, I think it's track time. Let me go ahead and get some screws. Yeah, got them over there and let's get this body on the chassis. Very good, um, the screws in there fit real good. They're snug and everything. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's get it on the track. It is track time, guys. Yeah, it looks like it's factory fresh, doesn't it? That looks awesome. That looks really good. Yeah, that's smooth too. That's smooth. Now what I gotta do yet is I gotta compare this to the one that I've already got in my collection. Um, I already think I know which way I'm gonna go, but I'll put them side by side and see what I got. Boy, I like this. And for uh, uh, 25 bucks, are you kidding me? 25 bucks? You can make it look like new? What are the comps on this? You know, the guys that sell them really, 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 really high? You know what I mean? It's like, this thing looks like it just came right out of Aurora's factory here. And uh, for 25 bucks in a chassis, man, unreal, unreal. Love this stuff. All right, what else we gotta get to? We have to get to the Jag. Gotta start tearing apart this chassis. Let's go and get into it. I didn't see it when I took the top plate off, but um, the uh, brushes are stuck to the uh, com plate there. Too funny. Got the brushes off on the com plate. I'm just gonna take the uh, wire dremel, clean up that. I'm gonna take care of the shoes. Also, I'm gonna take care of the uh, uh, bottom of the chassis there. Get that looking better. Just did both sides, got the um, bottom of it. And as far as the um, brush springs, I do hit it with the uh, Dremel wire brush a little bit. Okay, I got the top plate done. I still need to do the shoes. Let me go ahead and get after those. I'm totally funny, just, just a quick comparison. After the uh, Dremel the wire brush on the left, um, they, they come out so good. And this is how they start out. This is the, um, the one on the right. This is before I touched it with that Dremel. Unbelievable, really good. Just finished the um, um, second shoe there and it came out real good. The uh, brushes, they, I'm sure, quite sure that they had some type of oil on them. Yeah, look at what's coming off there. For them to stick to the bottom of the comp plate like they did, you, you better clean them. You know what? And it's just that quick. Just that quick. Okay, I like to roll around my fingers too, just for fun. Let's see if I get anything off on the edges. Yes, I did. That's why I do that. All right, very good. Let me get my uh, fingers clean. Okay, everything looks good enough to uh, put back together. Uh, just looking at it, just a second ago, got a Christmas tree arm there, very cool. Let me go ahead and start reassembling. Just got the uh, shoes on, I'm gonna be oiling while I go. The reason I didn't take either of the axles off is they look extremely clean. They look extremely clean. So uh, I'm gonna oil them, yeah, but uh, I, I just didn't wanna pull them. Okay, good, I've got it oiled up. Let's go ahead and get on the transformer. Oh, that sounds much better than when we got it. Okay, good. All right, let me wipe the excess oil off of it. Then it'll be time to uh, get the body on the chassis. Oh no, we get we still have to uh, address the uh, bumpers. Well, I, I can put the body on the chassis. All right, let me get the excess oil off. I can't wait to get the uh, body on the chassis. This is gonna be fun. Where's the, here it is, very good. This is gonna be fun. And we still, again, we still have yet to get the uh, bumpers with the uh, Molotow, but uh, that, that should only take, seriously, just a few seconds to get that done. But I, I think it's track time for this bugger. I really do. I mean, without that decal, you know what? Without that decal in there, night and day difference, really. There's a huge difference. Okay, guys, see what we get. We get a smooth running T-Jet chassis that doesn't squeal all the way around the track. I'm digging it. I am digging it. Got some pickup to it too. Let's put it on the um, big track, see what we get. See what we get. Gonna open it up. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I like it. I like it, very good. Nice. Okay, 
Boy, we got two easy projects, two cheap projects too, huh? Look at that. All right, let me go ahead and get the uh, model towel. I'm gonna shake up the pen again and uh, let's see if we can get those bumpers taken care of. Okay, I got the model towel pen out. I shook it up real good and I kind of pumped it down on the uh, table a few times. See if I can do this in front of the camera. And here we go, guys. Boom. Oh yeah, that looks good. That looks good. Nailed it. Let's try the back. Let's try the back. I'm sorry, not try. Let's go ahead and do the back. And I get where this chromeware comes from, you know, as far as specifically the Jag, you know, it's like if you pick it up or whatever, or if it hits the guardrail sometimes, but most every Jag, as far as uh, the bumper, and a lot of times on the Yvette too, uh, you'll find that the edge, the edge just needs to be touched up just a little bit. Nailed it again, fantastic. Okay, I gotta set that aside and let it dry. Okay, really good. We uh, the bumpers have been drying for a little bit. Oh my God, can, guys, can you see the uh, reflection on the hood and everything on both these? Isn't that something? I mean, man, um, what did I say, 35 and 25, and they both got the chassis now. They both look good. Uh, oh, you know what? I forgot to do. I forgot to compare uh, the red one that I have to this one. We'll do that in just a second. Boy, just on to me. And uh, once again, the recap. I've got a camper and I've got a trailer and I'm looking for a game to play, please put a comment in there, something that would be fair for everybody, uh, you know, and uh, we could have some fun with it. So guys, let me know. And don't think it's too silly or too serious. Let me know. Again, I like having fun, but if you guys can think of a game to play to give, give um, those away, let me know. Because they're just absolutely wonderful. Look at the uh, trailer. I mean, they, they, uh, the Print Pro guys, three holes in the front, three holes in the back. You can put a car on there frontwards or backwards they've really done it and again use the guide pin and the camper there i love it i absolutely love it and for some reason i don't think i'm done with it i'm having a blast with it i don't think i'm done with it there's still some tweaking or something i'm I mean, I got something going in the back of my head and where is my red here it is let's go ahead and compare the two let's go ahead and compare the two see what we get all right initially both shiny, both look good. Well, the VRPs, boy, that makes a little, can you see a little bit of different shine on the uh, one we just got done doing? Wow. Wow. This is going to be a tough choice. This is going to be a tough choice. All right, guys, in the comments below, let me uh, know which one you think I'm going to choose. I'm going to choose to keep the one we just did or the, the red one. Boy, they, I, it's a, it's a toss up. Let me know what you think, guys. And again, if you have any questions, uh, comments, please do. I always try to return the comments as quick as I can. And my book, it's on Amazon.com. I've been having some uh, really good reviews with that. So guys, please uh, keep uh, keep my book in the back of your mind. And as far as the channel goes, if you know of anybody that likes slot cars, refer them. I think this stuff is a ball. And again, I just got this gentleman that was over uh, giving us the uh, door uh, estimate. He, he can't wait to get home and expose his kids to it. So it, it's just, it, it's really neat that we can still have this hobby in the next generation, the next generation. Because I got this stuff from my dad. Then I, you know, down to my kids were playing with it. And now my, I'm playing with my grandkids. This stuff is timeless. And I hate to say it, but it's going to make it a lot longer than we are. All right, guys, once again, if you need anything, let me know. Take care. See ya.